peanuts. They're no longer a Georgia specialty any longer. This, friends, is a Northern Hardy Valencia peanut from Fruition Seeds, and they are incredibly regionally adapted to be productive even here in our short seasons in the Northeast. So to plant them, we take them out of their shells in the spring, and we plant them as we would a bean, about a half inch under the ground, same spacing as a bean, and then they grow. And they look like little dwarf pea plants. And instead of flowering up here like so many plants, they actually flower very close to the ground. And once those beautiful flowers are pollinated, they send out this bright purple stalk that's looking for the ground and buries itself in the ground to form that peanut under the ground. And those bright purple stalks are called peduncles. So now you can tell your friends that peanuts have purple peduncles. And we let them sit in the ground all season long. We also cover them with a single layer of row fabric just to increase the warmth that much more. And right before or just after frost, we finally harvest our peanuts. We harvest them by bringing a digging fork out into the field and we loosen the soil all around the base. We lift up the entire plant and then we shake it a little bit. All of that excess soil falls off, leaving the plant with all of its peanuts still attached. And now we can eat them fresh or we can dry and cure them to eat later. We personally love to eat them fresh right out of the field. We simply clean off the shells and put them right in the oven to roast or Preferably, we put them in boiled salted water or even more preferably boiled salted beer. And we cook them for about 40, 45 minutes and then they become creamy and amazingly delicious. Uh, but if you want to save them to eat over the winter, I don't blame you. And here's what you do to cure them. You do that same lifting out of the ground, shaking the excess soil, and you're going to find a, a warm, very breezy place. We've put them in our greenhouse. We've laid them out on a single layer, and we have about seven, eight fans going. So all that moving air is wicking moisture away from them, drying them down really quickly. And once they've been in here for a week, 10 days, and are super dry, we take all the individual shells off and put them in bags. And that's that. They will last all winter long. And you can roast or boil them as you like. It'll take about an hour and a half to cook them this time once they've been fully dried down. And yeah, this is a plant that had 23 peanuts on it. Holy moly. And I hope you'll give growing peanuts a try, even in our cold seasons here in the Northeast.